you know what really just makes me not respect you as a black Christian when you defend slavery, right? So like, you know, a non-Christian will be like, okay, well, why didn't God save us during slavery? We prayed and prayed and prayed for saving and he let us live and die being tortured for generations, right? And then these black Christians will respond like, oh, slavery was a punishment because we were disobedient, so and so and so. Like, first of all, first of all, first of all, I don't think you understand the horrors of transatlantic slavery. You telling me that God intentionally put our people through that and you still worshiping him? Like, what? Like, and then this is my other thing. So you telling me that we were so poorly behaved, so disobedient, that we deserved to be enslaved via transatlantic slavery, the most messed up thing in the world. But white people were so good that they didn't have to get enslaved. They got to enslave us. What? And you think, and you think that this is not something that white people made up and told you, oh, yeah, I'm enslaving you because you were disobedient. God told me to. Like, what? I would respect you so much more. And don't get me wrong. I mean, who's out here gunning for Flower Tower's respect? Like, I'm sure that's not going to change your actions in any way, right? But I would respect so much more if somebody simply said, I don't know. I don't have all the answers. You know what I'm saying? Like, I believe in this because I believe in this. I was raised to, and I, I'm not sure of everything, right? I would respect that so much more. But for you, as a black American, a descendant of transatlantic slavery in the United States of America, to sit here and say that we deserve what we went through because we were so disobedient is fucked up. It really is. Like, y'all don't get, I don't think y'all get how bad transatlantic slavery was because to be fair, it's white people teaching the history book. So white people will tell you, oh yeah, it wasn't that bad. You know, we treated them like family and shit. I don't think y'all really understand the gravity of transatlantic slavery to sit here and be cool with the idea that God made you go through that for generations and generations and generations for, for disobeying him. Like what? Nah, first of all, let's, let's give it a second to think about it, you know, <laughs> in human terms. And I know y'all gonna be like, well, you know, like you're thinking about it from a human perspective. That's not how God thinks. Okay, whatever. We still gonna put it into human terms. Okay. Let's imagine I had a kid and they were disobedient. Okay. And let's, let's pretend it was horrifying disobedience. Not even just the, oh no, I'm not going to wash the dishes. Right. Do you think a logical conclusion for me to come to would be, okay, I'm going to sell you into slavery and let them beat and rape you for 400 years. They're going to beat and rape your kids and they kids and they kids and they kids too. Do you think that that's like a logical conclusion to come to? Now, again, y'all going to be like, well, you know, like God doesn't think like humans. It's, it's different. So, 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 okay, sure. Whatever you have to tell yourself, but you know, good and well, that is not fucking normal. And the fact that you still here worshiping something like that. I feel like that's just so fucking disrespectful. I really do. I wouldn't even be mad if it was like a group of black people who didn't go through transatlantic slavery saying this goofball shit. You know what I'm saying? If it was some random group in Africa or something, they didn't experience slavery. I wouldn't even be as mad. Now, of course, it's disrespectful. You know, it's disrespectful. But that's not their history that they downplaying to worship this, this God, right? But you, as somebody descended from transatlantic slavery... For you to sit there and say that your ancestors deserve that shit. I'm about to start crying because that is really messed up. And honestly, y'all need to go to fucking hell. There is a heaven and a hell. I hope you bitches burn for real.